Hi, and welcome to Masters of the Delta Blues Guitar with Kevin Duggan. That song is Careless Love. It's by Brownie McGee, uh, who was, uh, he played with Sonny Terry, you know, both acoustic. Sonny Terry was a phenomenal acoustic uh, harmonica, harmonica player, blind. Now to Guitar 101, The Essentials. And it's not really a typical blues progression. Uh, what, he's do, what he does in the beginning is he's doing the single notes uh, Right up here on the G string, he starts with this bend. It's a, on the fifth fret, it's, you know, it's la, la, la. And he, ha he has this, the E note on the B string fretted. So you could almost get, you could almost hit the bottom two strings because they're going to be the same. to the E, so it's going from the A, La, oh, back to the A note, La, then it's the e, uh, e chord, then he's, he's, you know, he's doing the E bass, then down to the A, he's doing, he's, So he's, he's got these two fretted, your G and your D, and he's bending them. I use three fingers. What I'm really doing is bending the top string, going back to the D, up to the A note. Then I throw this little... Uh, So that little embellishment or whatever you want to call it in. So it'd be. Then up to a, a seventh, D seventh. You can alternate the bass if you want to. So going back, starting at the beginning, it'd be. On the fifth fret, just not fretting the E string. Back to the A, and you're still in A, using the A bass. Now you're going to the, you're making an E chord, turning into the E, e chord. have the whole E chord fretted there, and you're st still hitting the A, E, then to, to the A, down to the A on the fifth string. D7. Back to the A, and you can throw that little that little bass line in. Then 
and it's, you know, my, something like uh, rain comes falling, rain comes falling down all night long. Then I use this, this is a nice D, and what it is, it's from a D7. You know, if you did a D7, you like this. So take off that, that, take off that, and you have on your fifth fret, then a D on your second, and then down here, so you'll have this. And you're using your D as a bass. And then if you, on your second string, if you go up one, you've got a great sound there. Barney McGee didn't do that, but I just, I threw it in. He would just do like, uh, sometimes uh, something like that, I think, or... Uh, You know, and then it goes back to that same beginning uh, with the la la oh, oh. then to the A. So the beginning part is like this you're using it, your D, say you have a D chord, you're sliding it right up to the A chord. So what I do is I thump the top two strings because you get a real nice deep, you get a nice deep uh, uh, bass that, that resonates nice. And right up to the, uh, where it would be an A chord, an A major, not an A seventh. Then you do a pinch going into an A chord so what you're doing is you're going up into an A chord and you're sliding up. You're doing a pinch, which is the, the B string and the D string. And then you're taking a finger and hitting the A note. Then open. So pinch, A, open and the pinch again, that same first pinch, which is going to be an open B and an open D string. Then the next part is you're hitting, using the A note again, but you're using an, a an C sharp. See, I'm hitting that A with my pinky. And if that's too hard for you, you can do something else. You can just go. Forget about the C sharp bass, but it, it, you know, it, it adds a little bit to it. So you do that twice. Then you got this little bass line. So it's what it involves the sixth string open up to the G, G sharp. A, open A, C, uh, C sharp. Now this is a chromatic. So what you're doing is you're doing the, uh, what you're doing is the D, D sharp, E. So. Once more. So that's it. Then down to this um, figure, which is the D fretted, the D and the uh, G. Now what you do is your, your G string. You bend it up.
So what you're doing is, you know, you're still using that bass. G. Falling back, right down to the E note. So it's G, bend, D bend, open E, and that's a high E. That's a D again. Back to the C, C, A, A, G sharp, E. Now this thing, the, uh, which is the, uh, you, you're going into A note, you're going into A chord now, and you're grabbing the uh, G string and you're grabbing the D string and you're bending the, the uh, D string. So, C, A. So again, so what it sounds like. This, this is an e, an e chord, which is basically moving up to B7. You know, right up, right up. So, and this little figure, C, C, D sharp. Back to the A. So then up to the D7. Back to the A. So what you have, this is a nice D chord right here. It's made from a D7. And it, uh, what you have is your D, your D note. And then up on your fifth fret, on your high E string, you're on the fifth fret. And on your G string, you're on the uh, fifth fret. And you hit, hit an open, your open D for a bass. And if you bounce that off, it sounds really great. So then, near the end of the song, what he's doing is going right back to that uh, beginning uh, riff or whatever he does, which is the, back to the A chord, and he's up on the fifth fret. He's on the fifth fret, and he's fretting the G string, and he's fretting the B string on the fifth fret. So what he's doing is doing that thumping bass, back to that, that's the, still using the A chord and the A note there, now, now jumping into an E. Now down to this little figure. Any questions about this program, please email kev at delta-guitar.info.